unbelievable survival story. On a solo hike outside his camp, John Sane fell and broke his leg. Mm. He was stranded without cell service, and it would take him days to literally crawl to safety. Reporter Lacey Darrow filed this story. John left his family to take a hunting trip near McCall. He set up a base camp and hiked a few miles scouting for bulls. But on that hike, he took a fall and snap, his leg was broken. You know, my, my leg was uh, separated and after a little bit of crawling, it came back together and I splinted it and uh, tied, it, tied a couple of sticks along the side of my legs. And he was injured, alone, unable to walk and stranded in the wilderness without cell service. He knew his only hope of survival was by making it to a trail he knew was a few miles back. So he began to crawl, inching his way to the trail, praying he would make it out alive. But after a few days and nights, he became more and more tired, thirsty, and was quickly slipping into suicidal despair. When you're laying there and your foot's back here, and you're in the middle of nowhere, it's, you're not going to make it. It's just the bottom line. You know, do I want to suffer or do I want to just get it done with and, and at one point you know I was, I was reaching for my pistol and uh, asked Lord for his forgiveness. John began writing his family a goodbye. Those goodbyes proved to be motivation he needed to push on. That's it. Yeah. Write the letter to my family and, it, and that just that that was it that settled it. I said no, there's no way I'm doing this I will get out of here. After two nights of dragging himself across the rugged terrain, he finally made it to the trail. That brief moment of joy quickly turned into desperation once again. There was no help in sight. Knowing his time was running out and he wouldn't make it very many more days, John prayed. The next day, the Lord answered his prayers. A few motorcyclists had taken a wrong turn and ended up on the wrong trail. They were able to call for help and cut down a few trees so a helicopter could evacuate John to safety. His wife had been home, unknowing what hell her husband had gone through. I got a call at about 8 o'clock in the morning, and it was John telling me he had been in a bad accident. John was okay and in the care of St. Isles and happier than ever to be alive. Right after I got the phone call, I looked on my phone and I saw a text message and it said, I love you so much. A family reunited through answered prayers and a sportsman who says Idaho's backcountry may have nearly killed him, but he lives to hunt another day. Lacey Darrow again reporting for us. It's estimated that John crawled for three miles. So when Lacey asked him, would he ever hunt again? He said, without a doubt, but probably with a satellite <laughs> phone.